Well, good morning and welcome to everyone joining us here today. It's great to have you with us as we offer you your first look at the Handy Fox mobile inventory and sales solution for QuickBooks. We'll definitely get more into that topic in just a few minutes. Uh, my name is Scott Gregory and I'll be serving as your host today. I'm definitely excited to have you on board as we take some time to learn more about the Handy Fox solution. Definitely hope your day is off to an excellent start wherever you may be calling in from. We've got a wide variety of businesses joining us today. Of course, everybody's here around the theme of inventory management and how to be better at it. So for example, we've got a cookie shop in Maryland. We've got a pre premium beverage supplier in Canada, a high performance machine parts maker in Tennessee, a piston distributor here, right here in Ohio. We've got several accountants and consultants, I'm sure dialing in to check on this solution for their clients and many, many other businesses coming from all different locales across the United States and Canada. So again, welcome to everybody that signed in today. Please don't hesitate to use the question panel. On the, it's, you'll see that on the right-hand side of your window, you'll see a little question panel over there to let us know what's on your mind this morning. We'll definitely have some time as we go through the session today for your questions and get, get them answered. Usually the very first question that comes up is, are we recording? And the answer is yes, we are. Everyone that's registered will get a link to the playback, so no worries about that. If you need to review, rewind, or replay anything, you'll, you'll definitely get that. But please, if you're new to the GoToWebinar format, take advantage of that question box because we'd certainly love to know what's on your mind. So now that I've got the administrative stuff out of the way, I'd like to now introduce you to our presenter today. His name is Ruslan Balov, and he is the Key Accounts Manager for HandyFox and he is exceptionally anxious to give you a tour of the Handy Fox solution today. So Ruslan, I'm going to go ahead and make you the presenter here. So I'm gonna click the button and you should see the little share. And now we see, if I get my computer right, we now see your PowerPoint slide deck. So please take it away. Okay, yeah, thank you, Scott, perfect. So thanks for having me on the show today. And I would like to say hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Russell. I'm Key Account Manager with Haney Fox. And uh, uh, thank you again for joining us today together with Scott on our webinar about Haney Fox. So uh, Haney Fox uh, is the mobile inventory tracking and sales management system integrated with QuickBooks, both with <clears throat> QuickBooks Desktop and QuickBooks Online, and can also work solo. So uh, let me give you a few words about the history of Handy Fox and how everything started. So it all began uh, about 10 years ago uh, with the work on the handheld computer project uh, together with Kurt Cases in Chicago, uh, who is a wholesaler in the city of Chicago and uh, who didn't have an actual warehouse. Uh, but he had trucks driving around Chicago on routes and selling supplies to the body shop in Chicago. So it is a very competitive business and uh, he wanted to know exactly uh, what was on his trucks and if they didn't have it on truck, they can meet it on with another truck and hand it off or whatever. So basically he needed uh, a tool to replenish them every day and we needed a computer program to take care of that. So we developed the uh, system, what is now HandyFox. So, uh, if somebody asks us uh, what Handy Fox is and uh, how would you define it, uh, we will answer, well, Handy Fox is mobile app running on your handheld computer, phone or tablet or scanner, uh, which allows you to do transactions like receive items against purchase order, process order fulfillment, and do inventory counting using the barcode scanner, and then sync it back to QuickBooks in the office. So in other words, uh, it extends uh, your QuickBooks to your phone or tablet, so you can see the data, send it back to QuickBooks. Essentially, kind of a mix of inventory and tracking and sales management system. So uh, our customers are wholesale distributor companies, also contractors, uh, service providers, or even manufacturers uh, who are using QuickBooks uh, and managing their inventory, looking for the remote access and barcode scanning so they can go away from pen and paper and spreadsheets and have mobile inventory tracking solution uh, talking to their QuickBooks. But guys, in order not to be un unfounded, uh, let me show you what HandyFox can do and how it will integrate with your QuickBooks. 
So let me switch to my uh, system here. All right, so uh, the total setup of the system will look next way. So that's going to be your uh, QuickBooks desktop system or online. In our current configuration, that's going to be desktop. And also the Handy Fox, which consists of two parts. Uh, one of the part is the uh, computer plugin, which you install right into the QuickBooks menu. So everything will be in one place and you won't need to switch between windows. Everything is really convenient. And the second part uh, of the system is the mobile application itself, which you can slap on the handheld uh, device like uh, your cell phone or tablet or special ruggedized scanners uh, devices with built-in laser scanners. And uh, on the left side, you can see uh, exactly the interface of the mobile application, which is currently installed to my cell phone. So uh, I would like to uh, cover the full process of so-called life cycle of the item and stock. Uh, when you receive that against purchase order, uh, then you put it to the sales order, do picking and packing and ship that out. And also uh, there might be something uh, as the inventory counting, uh, which you uh, can do like weekly, monthly, uh, once a year. And we will also cover that today. So uh, let me start with the purchase order and we'll show you how that's gonna work. So we go to vendor center, uh, create new purchase order, uh, take the vendor for okay today, uh, choose the items from the list. Uh, let's change the quantity to three. Um, and four for the change, save and close that. All right, so we see the newly created purchase order as of today, as previously I created one, that's 10260. So uh, now we will need to log in uh, within our mobile application. And for starting doing that, so the user will need to have his individual login and password. So I'm having pretty generic one here. I'm going to hit OK and sync uh, our mobile application with the uh, QuickBooks server. So we're going to do uh, a, uh, quite a bunch of syncing during the demo, but you in the real process will not need to do that just until you will need to get the latest data from the last sync. So uh, the logic of our mobile application is based the way that all the inventory aspects are based on the left side and all the sales uh, functions are based on the right side. So we go to inventory and to purchase order center. And uh, just a quick FYI, if the user has sufficient permissions, he can create the new purchase order right from the handheld. But we are going to allocate our newly created uh, purchase order today, this one, and we're going to receive that. Hit receive, assign to the side, and the system pulls up the screen uh, for uh, receiving items against purchase uh, against purchase order. So I'm, I'm going to use the uh, scanner. Uh, basically, that's going to be the back camera of my smartphone, uh, which you can utilize as the barcode scanner. But also, there is the option uh, where you can uh, get the Bluetooth real laser scanner and bind that to your handheld device and do the barcode reading using this scanner. So I'm going to hit sync. And you see that the item A001 was changed from zero to one. So I'm going to do the second scanning and the third one. All right, also, if you use uh, the setup with uh, row and bin locations, uh, you can change the bin uh, and uh, scan the barcode of the bin, which I'm currently doing. And you see that uh, it pulled up the bin AA slash one. Okay, hit select. And also for allocating the second item, I'm going to do the second scanning. And you see that the item A002 was also changed from zero to one. So you won't need to scan the barcode every time to populate the items. If you see that all the items are in place, you can just go to the field and uh, hit the quantity manually. 
and uh, I'm going to change the bin and I will do it not by scanning, but manually just for a change. So I hit select and hit save. So now you see that our PO was turned from gray into green, which in our terminology means it was received in full. So now we are going to sync our device back to the QuickBooks server in order to uh, get, get all the latest updates and uh, make the purchase order updated. The syncing doesn't usually take a lot of time because we don't pull and push the heavy data, just the latest date from the last sync. All right, and you can see that this purchase order is, shows, uh, is shown as received in full. And also, if we go to item receipts, uh, we will be able to uh, see that the system generated the item receipt with the appropriate bins, uh, and it was also uh, transferred to your QuickBooks. And so uh, this is basically it as far as the creating and receiving purchase order, which is really convenient, really straightforward and really neat. So uh, the second thing I would like to show you, of course, is the ability to work with the sales order and do picking and packing. So there are two scenarios which you can do. So you can uh, put the sales order uh, to the QuickBooks right from the scratch and then sync it back to your uh, HandyFox mobile application, do picking and packing and generate the invoice for that. But also there is a scenario when your sales rep will go into the field and uh, sit uh, next to the customer taking the order and they will be able to create a new sales order right from the handheld. Then they will sync it back to QuickBooks office and you know the trail back to uh, another handheld computer to pick and unpack and again uh, creating the invoice. So we're going to uh, follow the uh, first scenario and the sales order will be put directly to the QuickBooks. So I create the new sales order. Uh, I take the uh, customer here, that would be Angel City Store. And also I add the items, uh, three and five and save and close that. All right, we see that there is a new sales order 40. So we're going to sync our device again to uh, pull out this data from the QuickBooks. And uh, the cool thing is that so you will be able to work with the HandyFox mobile application if you are out of the internet coverage. So let's say you're working in the fields or somewhere where you don't have the access to the internet. Uh, you can work with the mobile application uh, in offline mode and once you have uh, the access to the hotspot you can just turn off your mobile uh, internet or wi-fi and dump all the information uh, to quickbooks uh, since the last thing so we go to sales uh, and so the system uh, gets us to the customer center uh, here's the uh, detailed breakdown on the uh, on the whole data connected to your sales. So here you can see your customers and their balance. Also, you can create the new customer right from the handheld. And uh, also a good number of sales transactions as sales orders, invoices, sales receipts, credit memos, and also you can do the payment against invoices. So we are going to open orders and so we are allocating our newly created uh, sales order 40 today. So uh, another cool thing is that so you will be able to do a printout right from your handheld if you have connection to the wireless printer. So you can just highlight that, go to three dots here and hit print and the system will give you the layout of the printing. Uh, so you can go ahead and do that. Uh, but we are going to uh, process with uh, picking and packing, hit pick. And the systems, uh, system kicks us directly to the uh, picking and packing screen. Uh, we can uh, work with uh, all types of items. So that can be uh, inventory, non-inventory items, assemblies, service items, and other charge and discounts. So in my uh, current configuration, these are the inventory items. So I'm going to do the same procedure as I did on the purchase order. So I will start scanning and pick the items. So number one, 
one, two, and three. And also, as I said, uh, if you're working with the row and bin locations, uh, you can scan the barcode of the bin which you're working with, and the system will change it right at once. Uh, then I'm going to do the second scanning. And also I will put the quantity manually here for the change and uh, change the bin manually here. Hit save. The system will give us the pick list. Uh, here how it looks like. You can email that, you can fax that, you can save that. And uh, you see that uh, the button was changed from pick to pack. So now we're going to pack that. For packing, you won't need to uh, scan the items as far as the uh, quantity mentioned for this particular position. You can just uh, hit it one time as far as the confirmation that you put everything uh, in place. And you see that uh, the line was turned to green. So we do the second scanning. And you can see that the second line was also turned into green. There is a small button pack all here. So let's say you're having uh, over 10 or 20 positions here and you see that they're all in place. You can just hit pack all and the system will let you through. We hit save. Also, if you're working on the field, you can capture the customer signature and it will be attached to the transaction. Save that. Uh, also the popping up of the pack slip. Again, you can email that, uh, print it out or save that. And there you go. Now you see that uh, this uh, sales order was wiped out uh, of this list, which means that it was processed and the system uh, generated the invoice based on the picking and packing result and also uh, made the uh, stock depletion as the result of this order processing. So if we go to open invoices, uh, we will be able to see this particular invoice uh, which was created as far as the results of the uh, sales order picking and packing. And now uh, we're going to sync our device back to QuickBooks uh, in order to uh, transfer all the updates to the QuickBooks company file. Just give it a second. And it's done. So now you see that the uh, status of the sales order is invoiced in full. And also if we go to the invoices, uh, we will be able to see the newest invoices, uh, which exactly, exactly reflects the number of the items which we picked and packed during our fulfillment process. So everything is really transparent and uh, pretty straightforward, uh, really, uh, really similar to the uh, purchase order receiving, and you can see how you can accomplish that. All right, so uh, the next part I would like to cover is the ability to work with the inventory counts, and I believe uh, some of you are doing that quite often, or maybe not quite often, but you have a uh, quite a big amount of labor at the end of the year, and within HandyFox, this uh, process uh, will be a way more seamless and a way more uh, time efficient and uh, more uh, accurate. So. Uh, you go to inventory, to inventory counting within our mobile application, and now you know the drill. You can just scan the barcode of the item, and the system will pull up the additional screen. So uh, you can see uh, multiple uh, bins here. So I'm going to input the new quantity here, 95, and 90 for this bin. Hit OK, then hit scan for the second item and do that. So that's going to be 80 for this one, 80 for this one, and 90 for AA. Hit OK, and so the cool thing is that uh, you can save uh, this particular accounting session, then get back to other things, and once you're finished with them, you can get back to the inventory accounting and start from this tab where you had stopped. So all the data will be saved here. But uh, once you apply that, 
uh, the system will gray out all the interface here and you will need to sync this information back to QuickBooks uh, for su subsequent uh, manager supervising and uh, applying this uh, particular accounting session. All right, so uh, the next step will be uh, for the manager of the supervisor to overview that. So you go to Haney Fox to uh, count and sessions here. And we see that this particular account and session which we created today. So uh, we can uh, apply uh, or we can wait for that. Uh, we can also do the printout or just view this particular account and session. So I'm going to hit apply and it will transfer us directly to the uh, uh, to this counting session where we went through the uh, items which we scanned. And I am being the manager saying, okay, so I like this one. We're having the uh, 11 lakh here, but as far as the A002, I don't really like that. So I think that we will need to do this again. So I hit save. Uh, applying this, and once I apply this particular accounting session, the Handy Fox will push it through, and the inventory adjustments will be processed uh, and be pushed to QuickBooks company file. So now I will need to sync my device again. And if we get back to the inventory counting, we will see that the interface is not grayed out any longer. So we can go ahead and start the second iteration of the inventory counting. So as you see, uh, that's really straightforward and really easy to accomplish. And uh, if you're uh, struggling through uh, getting your stock in order and uh, make the latest data uh, being updated both in HandyFox and in QuickBooks company file, you can do this easily by just having your cell phone. Um, another thing I would like to mention as far as the uh, manufacturing capabilities, we can cover that and we work, we can work with build assemblies. So uh, the build assembly is something like a preset of the assembly uh, which is uh, set up in QuickBooks. And once you do that, so you just uh, sync this information back to the handy fox and uh, choose this particular uh, assembly to create, hit build and the system does that as far as the uh, assembly population and the components depletion out of the stock. Um, also, I would like to mention that uh, if you are a multi-site user and you don't have advanced inventory in your QuickBooks, you will be able to do that inside HandyFox. But if you're using multi-location in QuickBooks also, you can do this in HandyFox. So uh, within our system, you will have uh, a detailed breakdown uh, of the items based by your locations. And also if you're getting shorthanded on some particular uh, parts within particular location, you can create fill, uh, apply that. And then uh, as uh, with the example, as the, with the purchase order, you will need to receive that uh, from the source end. So let's say you create it from the site A to the site B, you apply that, then you uh, log in from the site B, uh, receive this particular transfer, apply that, and the system will do the inventory transfer. So everything is also uh, really neat. And if you need to uh, transfer your items from location A to location B, you will be able to do it both uh, from computer part and from mobile application. So, and uh, also the last thing I would like to mention uh, for today is the cherry on the top. And this is our ability to work with the barcodes. So uh, with Handy Fox, you not only will be able to uh, create and scan barcodes, but you will be able to do the printout uh, both on regular uh, paper and on the labels. And so uh, let me show you how that's going to look like. So we take the different items here. Uh, we set the quantity and we can print labels. 
uh, we can print labels by using just handy fox layouts. Uh, here is a few uh, flexible options which we can do. Uh, you can uh, change the size, also uh, filter some information which is going to be put there. But uh, the good thing is we have a direct integration with so-called uh, ID automation software, which gives you a huge flexibility as far as the uh, label customization. Here you can add the information, drag the uh, fields or the, uh, or the uh, label information from one position to another and do this stuff. So let me show you how that's going to look on the print preview. And this is basically the document, how your labels will look like uh, by the layout which I created. So uh, as I said, you can add the information here. You can uh, move the uh, fields and the barcode itself uh, at any point you like. And so I would like to say that uh, this is uh, basically a uh, really brief information about HeyFox and uh, what we can do about uh, uh, inventory control and mobile sales, uh, basically in a nutshell. Uh, we can definitely uh, do more than that and every business and in industry uh, will be able to uh, use the system aligned to their workflow and get a valuable tool for keeping their stock in order. So um, I'm sorry. Oh, I got it. All right. So uh, Scott, I think that I can hear somebody on the background. Yeah, I'm checking that out to see if somebody's gone into unmute. I'm not seeing that, so I'm not sure what that is. I'll but keep going. Okay. I'll, I'll be tracking that down. Okay. All right. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions about the system, we can have a uh, Q and A session after that. So uh, I just wanted to say that Handy Fox uh, serves a wide variety of industries, uh, from food and beverage to auto parts companies, and we work, as I said, with wholesalers, distributors, and service providers, and also with manufacturers. So we're currently having 300 plus happy customers working. Uh, with different in different industries and different business worldwide. Uh, we have presence all over the world, including the South and North America, Europe, and also Asia. And uh, also would like to mention that Handy Fox uh, comes in three editions. This is uh, Handy Fox Desktop, which integrates with your QuickBooks Desktop, Handy Fox Online, which integrates with your QuickBooks Online, and can also uh, Handy Fox can work as a solo and uh, independent standalone solution for your inventory tracking uh, and uh, sales management tasks. So uh, Scott and I will be more than happy to send you this uh, presentation as the handout after our webinar, and you will be able to start the trial right from this presentation. So there is the small button, get free trial here, and this is actually the live button. So once you hit that, it will kick you directly to our website, so you can go ahead and fill in the form. And so uh, once again, uh, Thank you guys uh, very much for your time today and uh, for visiting our presentation and our webinar. So these are my contact details, my uh, direct line and my uh, direct email. So if you have any questions or would like to uh, discuss some other stuff uh, which will be available for your business, just give me a call or send me a message and I will be more than happy to set you up. Well, uh, Scott, I think that this is basically it from my end, so I'm glad to pass it on over to you. And so if uh, our dear guys are having any questions about Handy Fox, I will be glad to answer them. Yeah, excellent. We'll go ahead and uh, wait for the questions to start popping in. Um, excellent job in presenting a, uh, in a short period of time all of the power that lies in the Handy Fox solution. It's amazing what, what all can go on on that little device that you were showing there on the screen. <laughs> how, how much intelligence is actually being held there. So thank you for taking the time to show everybody. 
Absolutely. One of the things while we're waiting for the questions to come in, um, just a quick refresher, uh, just to make sure everybody understands that when you're talking about desktop, that it doesn't have to be enterprise. They could be using QuickBooks Pro or QuickBooks Premier, right? They don't have exactly. to use Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Scott, for this question. Yeah. So any folks can work with any version of uh, QuickBooks desktop. So it can be Pro, it can be Premier, it can be Enterprise. And uh, if you're not having Enterprise with any folks, you will have a wide variety of tools. Uh, which will give you flexibility and extension as far as the inventory control and mobile sales right from your cell phone. Perfect, because I remember you and I talking, the only time somebody would absolutely need to have enterprise would be if they're using the bin slash location, right? The so. world has changed. Now one won't need to have enterprise to do all this amazing stuff. Okay, <laughs> excellent, even better. Um, what was what's the maximum number of parts that Handy Fox can can work with <clears throat> or items? Uh, well, we have a uh, quite a good uh, support for the number of items. So uh, we have been testing our system with uh, uh, up to twenty thousand items. So let's say if the company has the configuration as far as the twenty keys uh, SKUs in their stock, that should be work well within our system. Okay. Uh, so Peter is asking, he said, can is it possible to have access to the free trial for testing HandyFox with QuickBooks online? So I'm not sure. Yes, yes, absolutely. Peter, thank you for, uh, for your question. Yeah, so as I said, HandyFox uh, has two different versions. Uh, the one we covered today is HandyFox Desktop, uh, which I presented together with QuickBooks Desktop. But as far as the uh, users of online, we can uh, we are having a different version of our uh, HandyFox system, and it's called HandyFox Online. And the logic is absolutely, I would say, 90% the same as you uh, could see today. And you will be able to easily integrate your QuickBooks Online with HandyFox Online system. Okay, so yeah, we can work with everybody to make sure that they get the right trial for the right QuickBooks product. So no problem Indeed. there. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. So Ben is asking, can you add a date and lot codes to the inventory count? Thoughts on that? Uh, for quick, uh, for HandyFox desktop configuration, we are not working with uh, date and lot uh, within the system. But as far as the HandyFox online, which at the, at the same time is HandyFox solo, you can do that. So you can add serial numbers, you can add uh, expiry and uh, expiry dates and lot numbers uh, into the inventory accounting and work with it. Okay, so that's an online feature, not a desktop. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. And just uh, on the side note, uh, a user will be able to track serial and lot numbers with the desktop capabilities, but not on the inventory accounting. So he can work on the transaction, but not on the inventory accounting. Got it. Okay. Could you give our audience just kind of a general overview of how long it would take to get, let's let's say that they like what they see and they want to get started and they do the trial. I mean, is it a couple of days to get kind of ramped up? How does it, could you, can you give us an overview of that? Absolutely. So uh, yeah, Scott, that's a very good question. And uh, the thing is the free trial of the system, both, both for HandyFox desktop and HandyFox online one, is the fully featured system. So it's not crippled just having the clocks as far as the 30 days on that. So you will be able to test the fully featured system and the full go uh, during the 30 days. And the cool thing is that the onboarding process is really seamless. So once you decide to go with it, uh, you just go with the purchasing and for desktop, we're sending you the lifetime license. And as far as the online, you're getting on the subscription. So you just go with the purchasing and you start uh, and you continue uh, using the sister, uh, system from the step where you stopped. So no reinstallation, no like, uh, you know, uh, messy things, just you purchase the system and you get it. Excellent. Makes it easy easy to make the decision to jump in and get going with it. Absolutely. So Amanda is asking, just as for clarification, you had said earlier, or we thought you said earlier that HandyFox can work with inventory, non-inventory, service, pretty much all the different item types of QuickBooks. Could, could you clarify on that, please? 
Yes, Amanda, this is a very good question, and thank you too for uh, highlighting that. So, uh, yeah, I mentioned that Handy Fox can work with inventory items, non inventory items, service items, and also uh, some other discounts and uh, the uh, service stuff. Okay, so pretty much everything that, that's other than like sales taxes and some of the weird stuff that QuickBooks has. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so we have another question. Was required to change from HandyFox Desktop to HandyFox Online? If so, somebody wanted to go that route. Absolutely. So uh, uh, we're having the uh, good, uh, let's say, transitioning uh, conditions uh, for the customers using uh, either version of our system and they're liking to go from desktop into online one. So of course, desktop system is uh, becoming the priority for now because the QuickBooks uh, desktop system is having a big variety of the options, uh, but so far, the uh, recently, uh, the good number of companies are looking uh, for the ways to go cloud and to go online. So they are looking at the side of the QuickBooks Online, and uh, we are following the same way too. So we're we are trying to stay aligned uh, with the customers' needs. And let's say if they're HandyFox desktop user and uh, they are leaning towards the QuickBooks Online, uh, hence they will need HandyFox Online. They will be able to do that, and uh, we will assist them with whatever we can. Perfect. Okay. Another question that's popped in here, do we have a feature list comparing QuickBooks to HandyFox Solo? But I'm guessing it, it would be just a comparison between the two. Uh, so I, I can answer that one. We do have that, uh, and we're going to be sending a link to everybody that uh, I've worked with the folks over at HandyFox, and, and they were kind enough to put together a comparison list that uh, pretty much outlines all the areas where uh, HandyFox is going to be a, a significantly better product than QuickBooks in terms of the mobile inventory management. So in, in the follow-up that comes out, everybody will be getting a link to that. Ruslan, though, if you wanted to add on to those comments, feel free. Uh, no, Scott, you actually covered that. I just wanted to say that uh, I tried to cover some of the aspects uh, as far as the advantages of using HandyFox, as far as the capabilities and more options for that. But, uh, you know, uh, when you, Scott, will send it out to the customers and also uh, they will be able to have the access to this video. They can review this again and we'll see that this change and uh, this is the uh, difference on how, to, uh, on how you can use uh, the HandyFox uh, on the comparison with QuickBooks Enterprise. Yeah, and one of the things really right out of the right out of the gate that in terms of differentials is the whole ability to customize barcode labels. I can't tell you how many clients or prospects that I've worked with that have asked that question, and it it's just so limited, if pretty much non-existent in QuickBooks itself. So the ability to plug in for you guys to plug into ID Automation and do some of that customization is really for those that are seriously into barcoding is a wonderful thing that QuickBooks doesn't have. Yes, of course. So once you're looking for a more flexible way to design your labels, you can do that. And as you could have experienced, we have the seamless integration with ID Automation, as Scott mentioned. So you can easily do that. So of course, the question has popped up about pricing, users and pricing. So do you, you want to talk a little bit about that this morning? Ab absolutely. So let okay. me guys... Uh, show you the pricing structure um, of HandyFox and let me go directly to the uh, to the pricing page. All right, so uh, the pricing structure for HandyFox desktop is based the way that uh, we charge by the number of handheld devices which are going to use uh, the configuration with your QuickBooks. So uh, we have uh, two versions of our system. This is HandyFox Sales, uh, which you should understand as the HandyFox fully featured system. So it's 1,495 per device and uh, comes with a lifetime license without any hidden charges. So uh, people are buying licenses from our end and they're getting some stuff out of charge. So this is basically the 30 day free trial. Uh, the free training after the purchasing, if they will need their employees to get more familiar with the system and stay focused on some particular moments. And also the 60 days uh, free support uh, period for 
setting it up and uh, support includes not only the maintenance and uh, support capabilities, but also the free updates uh, of the system which uh, you're, uh, you're looking for. And uh, we have uh, a different version, uh, a light version of our HandyFox system. This is HandyFox inventory. With HandyFox inventory, a user will not be able to do the sales orders or uh, invoices, picking and packing. So basically working with the sales part, but uh, still he will be able to create purchase orders, do barcoding, do uh, multi-location and do inventory transfers. So the price for the HandyFox inventory is 995 and also people are getting uh, uh, the same amount of perks uh, if they're going with the inventory. So uh, for HandyFox Online, if we're covering that, the uh, pricing structure is a bit different. Uh, we charge by the packets uh, and uh, the user uh, will be able to get the packet together with the functionality plus the number of handheld devices and users. So the Supreme, the fully featured system uh, version of HandyFox Online is HandyFox Online Pro, and it provides you with the full capabilities of HandyFox Online system plus uh, ability to bind three devices and five users. And also the support and updates come, to, come out, the, out of the charge. Uh, the pricing starts from uh, 109 bucks per month if you're built annually or 139 if you're month by month uh, subscription. The start version is the comparison to the HandyFox inventory. This is the light version, which doesn't give you the ability to work with the sales part, again, with sales orders, invoices, and to picking and packing. Uh, but still, you will be able to do the inventory part as far as the purchase orders, counting, uh, barcoding and multi-location and uh, it comes with the small no uh, smaller number of the devices and users uh, in the setup with HandyFox Online Start you get just one device and three users uh, but also the perks as far as the free support and free updates uh, come out of charge. Excellent. I think we got the pricing covered quite well, at least for now. And obviously, if there's questions that pop up later on, uh, we can easily get those answered for you offline as well. Absolutely. Um, I hope so, Scott. <laughs> David is asking, when you were doing the demo and you went to the file menu in QuickBooks Desktop, there was a separate HandyFox you know, drop-down menu in there. How did that get there? Is that the little installer that you guys have? Yes, absolutely. So uh, let's get back to uh, the... Uh, architecture of HandyFox. And as I said, the HandyFox system consists of two parts. Uh, the first part is exactly the plugin. This is basically the file which you're going to install on your uh, QuickBooks hosting computer. And once you do that, uh, this menu will appear there right after the installation. Okay, so that's just a little installer that comes once somebody gets signed up and they just, and once that's installed, then that menu appears. That's easy enough. Exactly. Okay. All right, let's see if there's any other questions that have popped in here. Not seeing any. So we'll give everybody one last opportunity to <laughs> drop in your questions before we set sail for today. Anything else that you wanted to cover before we kind of brought it to a close this morning? Uh, no, Scott, I wouldn't say so. I think that uh, we have gone pretty much uh, through the, all the details and all the pricing structure and what we can do. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who joined us today. And once again, if there are some questions which will pop up in your mind afterwards, uh, you can always give me a direct call and I will be happy to discuss that with you. And if you're anxious about the next step, like the live demo or the 30 days free trial, I will be more than glad to consult you on that. Indeed, and that's a great segue to, to kind of bring everything back to a close for today. All of his contact information will be included in the follow-up message as well as that link that does a comparison between QuickBooks and HandyFox. And again, you'll have it, you have it here on the slide in the video as well. So lots of different ways to contact and uh, get information from Ruslan about HandyFox and how it can work for your business. So I think that we're gonna bring it uh, to an end now because there are no, no further questions. So. That being said, I would also like to echo the comments about 
thanking you for taking the time to be here with us this morning. We hope you found the information uh, helpful as far as your analysis of ways to do inventory better, smarter, faster in your business. And until the next time we do talk, please be safe and do take care. Thanks everybody for being with us this morning. Have a great day. Thank you guys. Thank you, Scott. You bet. Enjoy the day. Bye for now. Bye-bye.